Hello and welcome. My name is Savannah and today I will be guiding you through a chair yoga practice. So this class will be suitable for all levels and all abilities. Everyone is invited and encouraged to try out this class and to see how it feels for their bodies, their breath, and their mind. All you will need for this class is yourself and a chair. We will be seated on the chair for this entire class. So to begin, just coming into a nice comfortable position on your chair. Allowing your feet to plant down firmly onto the ground. And if they aren't quite able to reach, I would invite you to grab maybe a couple of books or some folded blankets or a pillow to place underneath your feet so that they are able to make that connection or make that contact with the ground. And then maybe as you place your feet on the ground or your prop, you can spread your toes farther apart. Maybe you think about pushing the ground away from you just a little bit with your feet and with your legs. Grounding down through your lower body, taking this time to center. And then find more length through your spine. Lifting up through the top of your head, engaging your core, the center of your body, as well as all of the muscles along your back to help you sit here nice and tall. As you feel ready, begin to bring your attention to your breath. Notice if your breath is moving fast or slow. Notice if you are breathing through your nose or your mouth. Notice what your breath feels like right here and right now. And then I invite you to lengthen out each breath. So here we can work towards making each inhale, each breath in and each exhale, each breath out a little bit longer. So making each breath a little bit more full, a little bit more complete. And here at the beginning of our practice, we are working on building our connection or our relationship with our breath. Notice your breath as it moves in and as it moves out. And can you lift the top of your head up a little bit higher? Take a breath in and 
in the breath out. And from here, we'll be working with an equal part breath. So we'll be breathing in for a count of four and out for a count of four. I'll guide us through it. Inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. In, one, two, three, four. Out, one, two, three, four. In, one, two, three, four. Out, one, two, three, four. In, one, two, three, four. Out, one, two, three, four. One more. Breathing in for one, two, three, four. Out for one, two, three, four. Excellent. Return to a nice natural breath. Breathing in and out through either the nose or the mouth and simply allowing the breath to flow. Bring some movement now into your fingers and toes. Finding any movement that feels good for you. Bringing your shoulders up towards your ears if you like and then rolling them back down. Maybe bringing your legs out to the sides, wiggling your legs around. Excellent. Let's find some movement for our neck. So we're going to bring the right ear towards the right shoulder. You can stay right here or if you would like to, you can take the left fingers towards the left side, bringing the stretch more into the left shoulder and maybe all the way down towards the left fingers. One more breath here. Good, come back through center. Same thing right over to the other side. So left ear now towards the left shoulder. Making sure as you do this that both shoulders are staying down away from your ears. Keep the hands just where they are or you can bring the right hand towards the right side. Allowing the stretch to work its way into the right shoulder and maybe down the arm into the fingers. One more breath. Can you sit up a little bit taller? Good. Make your way back to center. Look towards the right side and can you look over your right shoulder a little bit more towards the space behind you? Back through center, over to the left side. Can you look past your left shoulder towards the space behind you? Back to center, once more over to the right, sitting up tall as you do this, over to the left. Back through center, chin towards your chest, and then look up towards the ceiling. One more time, chin to the chest, up to the ceiling. Good, bring your chin towards your right shoulder, then towards your chest, to your left shoulder, back to your chest to your right shoulder and we'll just continue to move like this. To the right shoulder, back to the chest and to the left shoulder, back to the chest. 
Good. Continue to move like this a few more times or we can take it into some full circles. So we can start to look up towards the ceiling, bring the chin towards the right shoulder, chin to the chest, left shoulder up towards the ceiling, chin to the right shoulder, chin to the chest, switching directions, chin to the right shoulder, chin up to the ceiling, chin to the left shoulder, to the chest, once more like this, over to the right, up to the sky, to the left, chin to the chest, come back through center, looking straight out ahead, interlace your fingers together. We're going to make a wave-like movement with our arms, stretching through the wrists. So we're going to bring one elbow up and then the other, taking some time to find this movement, noticing how it feels for your shoulders, for your arms, for your wrists and finding the stretch here for your fingers as you do this as well. Good, we'll continue like this for four, three, two, and one. Release, bring the hands down, take a big breath in, and a big breath out. Good. From here, interlace your fingers together and just start to uh, make some circles with your wrists. And then switch directions. We're going to release the hands. We're going to do the same thing with the hands separated. So making fists and then moving into some circles in either direction, doesn't matter. And then we'll switch direction. Good. So keeping your hands just like this in the, these fists and then spread your fingers out far apart. Doing this with straight arms if you can. Bringing your fingers into fists and then spreading them out. Bringing your fingers up towards the ceiling as you spread them out apart. And then can you move a little bit faster? Maybe you bring your arms up overhead. Really spread your fingers far apart as you open them up. For three, two, and one. Release, shake it out. Arms just alongside your chair. Bring your shoulders up to your ears and roll them back down. Just twice more like that. Up and down. As you breathe in, roll them up. As you breathe out, bring them down. Excellent. From here, we're going to bring our arms into cactus arms. So the arms will be bent to about 90 degrees. We'll stay here for a few breaths. And as you do this, think about lifting your chest up towards the ceiling. And think about bringing your elbows back behind your torso. So towards the back rest of your chair, if it feels okay for your neck, you can look towards the ceiling. If that doesn't feel good for you though, keep your chin tucked in towards your chest. One more breath here. Good, hands on your lap. We'll take a few breaths here and then we'll repeat that. Allowing your breath to flow. As you take your next breath in, come into those cactus arms. Allow your heart to your chest to lift up. You can look up if that feels okay for your neck. Bring your elbows back. Continue to breathe here. As you take your next breath out, bring your hands to your lap. Take a few breaths here once again. Breathing in a way that feels good for you. And just allowing the breath to flow through either the nose or the mouth. Good, we're going to now bring the fingers around the right knee. 
and then we're going to lift the right leg up. So the right foot may stay pretty close towards the ground, or maybe you lift the leg up higher. Find what feels good for your body today. And then you can keep your leg away from your body more, or maybe you squeeze or you hug it in towards you. Coming into a deeper stretch for the right hip. Sit up a little bit taller, and we'll stay here for a couple more breaths. Full breath here. Good, slowly release the foot back down to the ground. And we'll take that on the second side. So the fingers can interlace around the left shin or the left knee. And then we'll start to lift the leg up. Your foot might stay close to the ground like so. Maybe you lift it up higher. You can keep your leg away from you like this. Or maybe you experiment with bringing the knee or your leg in towards you. Hugging it in, squeezing it, sitting up nice and tall as we stay in this pose. Taking a few more breaths here. Notice where you feel this pose in your body. Slowly soften your left leg back down to make contact with the earth and come all the way back up into your seated position. From here, bring your feet a little bit farther apart, hands on the knees, just start to shift the weight from side to side, allowing your hips, your shoulders to get involved in this movement allowing your, the entire length of your spine or your back to get involved as well. Good. We'll continue to move like this for three, two, and one, finding center. You can bring your feet a little closer in towards one another. And as you take your next breath in, reach your arms up. As you breathe out, bring your hands to the back of your chair and towards the base of your chair. Finding a nice grip here with your hands on the chair and then coming into a little bit of a backbend cobra pose. So lift your heart up. You can keep your chin down if that feels better for your neck, otherwise, you can experiment with looking up towards the ceiling. We're here for just one more breath. Allow your heart, your chest to lift up here. And release, soften your hands down. Hands on the knees, round your spine, round your back towards the back of the room. Chin can be tucked in towards your chest. We'll stay here and breathe for a couple of breaths. One more breath. Good, find center. As you breathe in, reach your arms up high towards the sky, take up space here, grow tall. As you breathe out, bring your hands down to heart center and start to gently, slowly lower down towards your legs. So you can keep your hands at heart center. Arms can be resting on your thighs. You can bring your feet farther apart if you like. Or maybe you bring your belly all the way down to rest onto your thighs. And you can allow your arms to drop down towards the ground. Maybe bringing your hands on top of your feet. Allow your head to be a little bit heavier here as you let gravity take over.
as we stay here for a few more breaths, can you work on breathing a little bit deeper, lengthening out each breath in and each breath out. Good, we'll all bring the hands up onto the knees. Pressing down into the knees to lift our torso back up, finding a comfortable position and we'll focus back in on the breath here as we near the end of class. So to start off with, Notice your breath as it moves in and as it moves out. Does your breath feel different now than it did at the start of class? Does your body feel different now? than it did at the start of your class. And can you allow each breath in and each breath out to become just a little bit longer? We're going to do a few rounds of that four count breath. Before we begin, let's take a breath to reset. Breathing in and breathing out as you're ready. And then let's begin. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Out. One, two, three, four. In, one, two, three, four. Out, one, two, three, four. In, one, two, three, four. Out. One, two, three, four. In, one, two, three, four. Breathing out, one, two, three, four. Good. Return to just a nice natural breath. Again, just allowing your breath to flow however it wants to. And watch your breath as it moves in and as it moves out. And here in these last few moments of class, take this opportunity to notice how you are feeling. How does your mind feel? How does your body feel? And how does your breath feel?
excellent work. Thank you so much for being here, for joining me for your chair yoga practice. I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please, please be sure to hit that big red subscribe button. This way you won't miss any of my other classes that I will be sharing here on my channel. And also feel free to share my channel or this video with a friend, family, or on social media. My goal with this channel is to make yoga accessible to more people. So thank you so very much for your support and for helping me to do that. I hope you have a lovely day. Thank you once again for being here. The light within me sees and honors the light in you. Namaste.